Hey guys, welcome to a review. I'm over here. Um, so today this review is going to be of not just one figure, loads of figures. So, um, first of all, I'm going to put the Thanos together. I'm just going to put the head on. And just let me... S the gauntlet arm goes there. Here's the non-gauntlet arm. Just going to put that right on in there. And then here's... The left leg, I think, I'm pretty sure. No, the right leg. This is the... Actually, no, that's the left leg. And here's the right leg. Just gonna... And boom! Now we have our Thanos figure. He has great articulation. I'm just gonna show that off right now. I can go up that far. Down that much. Side to side. And full 360. Um... Full 360 on the arms, upper or um, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and hinges at the wrist and also swivels. And same for this hand, even with the gauntlet. The only problem is that you can't, you can hardly bend it that way, but it's still pretty cool. And also, here's a better look at the gauntlet. All of these stones. Cool. Time stone, power stone, space stone, reality stone, soul stone, and a mind stone. And then he's got a diaphragm joint, waist cut, legs go far, legs can go that far forward, not very far back. And he's got double jointed knees and also ankle pivot and hinge there. And the reason I'm doing this really fast. Because I have quite a few figures. And now this is the next one. But he doesn't have the best, the best, uh, the best accessories. Or, uh, yeah, accessories. So this is Bobby Road. It's a wrestler. Um, head goes up that far. Side to side. Um, you know, like the usual. Single jointed. Hinges, swivel. Diaphragm joint, waist swivel. Legs go that far. Back and bend has a um cut there. Oh yeah. Also, they have an upper thigh cut, and that's about it for his um articulation. But here's a shirt he has. You can put that on there. I'm going to. And then here he is with all his accessories. Here's the um, United States Heavyweight Champion belt, the Survivor Series shirt. I'm going to show off the belt a bit more. Just go uh, Look, it has... These don't have any... This one doesn't have any paint, just like this one. But these two, these three have paint. And if, if my camera were to focus... Focus, focus... United States Champion, WWE, and the... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that. That is a great belt. Now, next figure... I'm just going to set this over here. Is going to be Songbird. I'm just going to put this in. And boom. Here's the Songbird action figure. I got it for, with the Thanos wave. Pretty cool. Um, I'll show her articulation. This just ports into the back. Um, her head goes that far sideways, full 360. Um, she has this head thing, or the um, elbow pads. She can't fully, she can go full 360, single jointed elbows, hit, um, hinge and swivel. And then she has. This weird kind of diaphragm joint. Legs go far, go for, go that far forward, not as far back. Double jointed knees, um, hinge at the ankles and barely any ankle pivot. Now for the ne next figure, the second to last. I'm saving my mo one of my favorites for last. Here is Luke Gallows. This is a terrible image. Oh, that's even better. Okay, um, look. So, Luke Gallows. Look at these. Look at this. This is a great figure. 
I'm going to show the articulation. He, his head can go that far up, that far down. Hold on. Just let me do one thing. I'll take this off to look at it later. And he's got, he, he's got his arms can go that high up. Full 360. Um, bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows. Swivel here and... Um, a thing, um, that, his waist can go that far back, that far forward, he's got a waist cut, double jointed knees, and barely, um, like, ankle pivot, but no swivels, and for the last figure, I'm just gonna, well, okay, I couldn't find one of his heads, but this is the head I have him posed with. And I'm going to show you the other two heads that I could find. There is this one. It's like the other. It's like it's basically this one, just without the mask. There we go. And then this is this is a Red Skull figure. So here is the Red Skull head, looking pretty cool. Hold on, focus, focus. Focus, focus. Come on. Focus. Fun. Okay, it's a, it has cool, great details, and it's the only thing I'd expect from a first ten years figure. Here is his his bazooka rocket launcher with the tesseract power thing. Pretty cool, it's got red down there. Uh, hold on. Uh, that was not supposed to be. Oh, whoops. Um, this is a really cool figure, or a gun. And then this, you can put on the figure like this. Hold on. So you just put his arms up, and you put it like. See, there's a tab here. Just put his arm through there, and then. Shimmy it onto his head, around and onto and around his head, and then like that, and then just uh, just come over to here and put the tab on in there, and boom! Now you have the vest on, and with the vest on, I'm going to show you the articulation. Just bring this out, so you can. Gosh, my phone looks terrible. Okay, so full three sixty can look up that far down, not not that far. Um, the full three sixty up that much. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, um, swivel at the wrists, and also a hinge. Um, and this is actually a cool cool feature to this figure. Most f figures who have this kind of chest, like Songbird, have no waist articulation. But, Red Skull figure has got, he can go, he, he has that, and waist swivel. So, and then his legs can go that far forward with the skirt thing, that far back, far forward, and then double, double joint in these, no, I can't move the hinge. And then ankle pivot. So I hope you guys like the review. If you look, I have her hurt and he is attending to her needs. The, those two are fighting for the belt and Thanos is the referee. Oh, wait, I just forgot the most important part of the review. The flush. This is my new Luigi plush I got. He is he was thirteen dollars. Yeah, not a cheap plush. Um, I have as you know I have made one video already uh, with him. There's just some dust on my phone. Uh, he's actually pretty cool, and I'm thinking about making an episode Luigi's gun. Now I have a gun here for Luigi, and I'm gonna show you something. Uh, he can hold it. Or I can make him hold it. 
Well, that's the end of this review. I hope you liked it. I am getting past the 10 minute mark. Barely. I've never made one. I've hardly ever made one like that. And I'm going to show you what Luigi looks like with the gun in hand. Just going to... That is what he looks like with the gun in hand. Just holding it like that. And I, I hope you all liked the video. Um, I will make more reviews as I get more figures. And these are the only ones I could fully find all the accessories of. If I could, or also I haven't, re I've already done the review. Now, here is a box of figures I could have done the magical review on. But not all of these are, they're either not finished or I've already done a review on him. Like Captain America, I've already reviewed. Uh, I've already reviewed him. I do not have her, I misplaced her spear, but or else she would have been in this. I don't, I don't like this one that much. Um, this guy is currently one of my customs. And then, oh, uh, that's it for the box. Oh, wait. Oh, I should have reviewed Rocket Raccoon. I have all of him, and... Hold on. I have all of Rocket Raccoon's accessories. And I also have Groot. Hey, Groot. I am Groot. And then this is a Lego set. I mean, not that cool. But he also came with a Mantis torso. But, two figures I could have had in the review, but I did not have all their accessories. And those... Playing with him earlier was uh, my di my magical Deadpool. His head is just off right now. Just gonna do it with one hand. Oh, whoops.